Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another movie review. This movie is brought to you by Lifetime and it's called He Slid Into Her DM. So it starts off with this girl named Bernie. She's 17 years old in high school and she's like a blue, a beauty, <laughs> a beauty influencer and her mom's her manager. So basically she posts and goes live every day, I guess on Instagram or whatever the case may be. And she posts these reels and stuff like that. And people will, like, watch them. And get because she's trying to get her following up. So she has this friends, Hannah and Jazz. So I guess Hannah, she's, like, jealous of, of Bernie because Hannah was once dating her boy, her now boyfriend, Zach. And she feels as if once um, Bernie came into town, she basically done took over everything that she got going for her. And... Bernie eventually addressed it. She was like, is there any issues between you and you? And, and Hannah was like, no, there isn't. But anyways, so now that um this major beauty brand is um wanting to work with Bernie, she wants everybody to be involved with her and do videos. And her boyfriend at first was just like, I'm sick and tired of this. It's like, well, the only time we hang out is when you want me to be in your video or you're editing a video and stuff like that. And it, it's not working for me like you don't have time for me so hannah kind of picked up on the energy and she was just like hmm i guess you're probably gonna try to use it to her advantage so she starts posting all these videos and stuff like that and some biden like wrote her and he basically been following her and he's been seeing all the issues she's been having with her boyfriend zach and then her video her, her brand deals and stuff like that so she starts talking to him and stuff like that. Then he was like, she asked her mom because he asked for some photos other than the ones that she's posted. But I don't know why she didn't put two and two together. So she just took a regular picture like this. Well, like this. And she sent it to him. He paid her $100 for it. And the next one, he was like, oh, can you do a little picture a little more spicier? So she took it off, took the offer off. She still had clothes on, but she just did like half of this, her shirt was open and she put and she sent took a picture and sent it to him. He paid her five hundred dollars. Next do you know, it's like the the um Zach and um Bernie was going through issues. He wanted to do a prom pose because that's what her brand wanted her to do at first. And he was like, Okay, I'm down for it. They had to go pick up the balloons. They got into a whole bunch of arguments and stuff like that. It didn't go their way, so it was time for the prom pose in the park. And uh, before she did that, Hannah and Jazz were helping her pick out her outfit. And Hannah was always saying some snide remarks and stuff like that. So, fast forward, because I don't want to bore y'all talking at a death. Um, Zach and Bernie decided to like, call it break up a little bit. And Hannah used that to her advantage. So, meanwhile, Mace, well, we're going to say now. Come to find out the boy that she been talking to instead of her DMs goes to her school. He's not her number one fan. He's in love with her. I guess basically all the messages she even wrote to him from that time frame. I think it was like within two or three days. He fell in love with her. He goes to their school. She meets him after the game because Zach, somebody learned, somebody yelled out the word brick. And that threw him off his concentration and they ended up losing the game. So after that. They leave at the game, or whatever. But she said she had lost her phone. Come to find out, Mason revealed him to herself. He was like, Can you read my letter I wrote for you? She was, just, uh, and she was just all over the place. She ended up getting into the car. Meanwhile, there's somebody recording what's the interaction between Bernie and Mason. So after Bernie leaves to get in the car with Zach, Hannah comes out of the woodwork and it was her that was recording. And she and Mason was like, Hannah? And she was like, how do you know Bernie? She was like, he was like, we used to talk. I'm in love with her. I'm a number one fan. And she was like, maybe I can help you. So it was now the next day. Um, Mason's texting her. I was like, I can see you. And so then it's just like weird. So the next day, she ended up getting a knock on the door. Her mom got a phone call. Come to find out Mason and showed up to her house. Like, how do you know where I live? And he gave her flowers. And she was like, thank you, but this is not cool. He was like, I'm in love with you. 
And then she was like, no, I'm good. He was like, sorry, sorry. So he, she closes the door. Next, you know, the pounding started coming again. When she opened the door a second time, he had a gun. Like, I don't see some of this stuff. I, I feel like there's no way around it. Like, if she would have, like, not had, like, opened the door, I'm thinking he probably would have, you know, shot the door off and still came into the house. So it was, like, so much going on. So he ended up, you know, finding his way into the house. The mom gets off the phone, and she's just like, and then he pulls Bernie in, and she helps basically held the hostage trying to kidnap her saying she's going with him had a gun to the mom next you know there was a tussle whatever the case would be and them knock him on the floor and at this moment i think they should have called that one but they didn't so the mom took it to her, took it to her best advice was to go hide in the cupboard and the mom went somewhere to hide i guess and he's looking around for where are you mind she's on the phone with 911 at this time and I don't know why the police took so long to get there, too. It's like, whatever. So he was, she was, the operator was like, stay on the phone. And she was like, they tried to keep trying to kill me. He found out where she was, pulled out of the cupboard. All you hear was screaming. Next, you know, the mom, somehow, she ends up knocking him over with a vase, or whatever the case may be. She tells, um, Bernie tells her what really happened. And the mother was like, okay, we can do this. Delete the pictures out of his, your phone. Delete the pictures out of his phone. The mom ends up breaking his phone. And he basically, he died on that floor because they was tussling and the gun went off. Yeah. So now, Bernie was just like, ah, I want to tell the truth. Come to find out, even though his parents, well, his mom, she was just like, why? Something is not right. It's not adding up. Why would you... Kill this boy, and y'all don't know what the gist of everything is going on. So, long story short, Hannah should have just told the truth. The mom ended up going to jail for um tampering with evidence and obstruction of justice because she ended up, she deleted the video, the pictures of that Bernie sent off her phone. So she basically felt as if those pictures was going to be the downfall of her career because she just started getting this brand new deal and it's also around the time of prom so everything came to light she finally told the truth hannah finally confessed her, her role in, the, in that she should have went to jail for that too um she got during this whole process of the investigation she had got her um invitation to nyu they rescinded it then they figured out and they were watching her so she posted all these new content about taking accountability for her actions and honest and stuff like that. So then I want NYU to call her back and say, listen, we're going to put you on probation period. We're going to try see this out, see how well you do. Her mom ended up getting out of jail, and she opened up this women outreach program to basically help people and women, like, find their voice and speak up about certain situations that you see online or in person because, you know, you never know what somebody's going through. So the fact that Bernie kept all this stuff inside instead of just saying it when it happened it would have been a b much more better story and probably a better outcome because at that point mason would have been probably charged and it would have been a little bit better than what it was but anyways it was like it's a loser situation um bernie lost her mom for a year mason he ain't coming back to his family hannah she's you gotta live with that guilt now your actions, because you was jealous, and she told her numerous times what's your issues with me, and she held all that in. So you basically festering in over a year old grudge of actually getting out and speaking about what was really going on with you. So she was basically jealous of Bernie. Oh, sorry, guys. Jealous of Bernie because she got all these brand deals. Major people was looking at her. She's basically still her boyfriend. And she was doing well in school. It's just like, dang. Can't you be happy for your girl? Sometimes your closest enemies right be right next to you. You got to be careful. Open your eyes and see. But overall, that was a good movie. I wish it was a little bit longer and a little bit more in-depth. But it is what it is. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this recap. And y'all check it out. It's on Lifetime. It just came out. It's called He Slid In Her DMs. And tell me what y'all think about it. If y'all watched it, let me know in the comments section down below. And with that being said, I'll see y'all. Bye.